budget blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. Well, RCMP are searching for a missing 41-year-old man who was last seen leaving his residence near Wilkie yesterday morning. Daryl Sittler is 5'11", 180 pounds, with blue eyes and brown hair. He also wears glasses and was last seen wearing a camouflage hat and jacket. It's believed he's traveling in his grey 2011 GMC Sierra with Saskatchewan license plate Finney. RCMP say Sittler may have been in the Meadow Lake area around noon today. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call Wilkie RCMP at 306-228-6300 or Crime Stoppers. Two Lloydminster residents are facing various charges. This after a search warrant on a local residence Tuesday led to RCMP recovering a number of items stolen from different locations around the city. Tyson Lumley and Rochelle Wagner, both 26, are facing 23 different charges, including break and enter, stealing a package by post, and possession of property obtained by crime. They're both scheduled to appear in Saskatchewan Provincial Court on Monday. Well, with the recent attacks in Paris, Jakarta and San Bernardino, California, much of the world spotlight has been on acts of extremism. That is why the Ahmadiyya Muslim community launched the Demystify Islam campaign in hopes of clearing up any misconceptions about the religion extremists have caused. We believe our religion has been hijacked by these extremists. The extremists have the people believing what they promote, that is hatred. Imam Tariq Azim with the Lloydminster Ahmadiyya chapter says because of these acts of terrorism, many people have doubts and do not understand the actual teachings of their faith. Through this campaign, we plan to hold over 100 Islam open houses throughout the country. And the purpose of these events is to remove misconceptions regarding our faith that people may have in their minds. According to Azim, the campaign has been extremely successful nationwide and the local community is hoping for a similar response here. We believe that the gaps, if there are any between Muslims and those people who are not fond of Muslims, those gaps will uh, go away. They will, we will be able to bridge the gaps through this. So that is the intention behind this event. They are encouraging everyone in the community to come to the Islam Open House this Sunday at the Service Sports Centre to ask questions and open the lines of communication. The event runs from 4 until 6.30. The Lloydminster Public School Division held their annual general meeting earlier this week. It featured the division's strategic priorities and successes from the 2014-15 year and included a few of the goals for the upcoming year. Krish Khan has more. Education is more than just reading, writing, and math problems. It establishes a critical foundation for a future career, regardless of your chosen field. The Lloydminster Public School Division has been working hard to improve the success of students in the community and had the opportunity to share these achievements earlier this week. We had our uh, annual general meeting on Wednesday night at LCHS and uh, like any AGM, it's an opportunity for us as an organization to celebrate the accomplishments and achievements that we've had as an organization with our ratepayers. According to Robinson, the year proved to be a period of progress in more than one area. Our literacy scores are, uh, we're about 80% of our kids in grade 3 are reading at grade level, which is uh, significantly higher than the provincial average and actually already surpasses the target set for 2020 by the province. The provincial average reading level is 70 percent compared to the division's 78.5 percent in 2014, which increased even more by 2015 at 79.7. Our graduation rate is at 85 percent right now, which is uh, 10 percent higher than the provincial average. And not only that, the numbers significantly increased since the 2008-2009 year, going from 67.4 to 79.6 in the 2013-14 year. And the numbers have only gone up. Working on wellness is a priority for the organization and, and using resiliency as a, I guess, a strategy to impact mental health for our students and our staff. A resolution aimed at having another successful year. Chris Chacon, Newcap News. Illinois Mr. High School student is preparing for a national competition. Holly Rosary's Blessy Delphin was selected as a finalist for the Miss Teenage Canada pageant, which kicks off with the provincial competition in Saskatoon this spring. Now, Josh Ryan caught up with Blessy to discuss how she feels representing her city, her family, and her heritage. Blessy Delphin has long held a passion for pageantry. It's something she shares with her mother, Eileen. So when she saw the Facebook ad for the Miss Teenage Canada competition, it was a quick decision to apply. 
And I shouted, I was like, Mom, come here. I saw an opportunity for both of us. After a successful application and on-camera interview, Blessy was named a finalist for the Saskatchewan region of the competition. She'll have the opportunity to represent her school and Lloydminster, a city she has called home for almost five years. I'm really honored to, to represent Lloyd Minister. It's, it's a very beautiful city. For inspiration, Blessy looks to the recent winner of the Miss Universe pageant, Pia Wurzbach of the Philippines. She feels this shows anyone can pursue opportunities like hers, regardless of their background. As a Filipino and as a, um, as a resident of Lloyd Minister, it's, it's just really amazing that I can see people um, from different countries, from different cities, joining this kind of competition. It just really drives me to do it also. Ahead of the competition on April 16th, the focus for the family is to rally community support behind Blessy and take care of the expenses involved with competing. Any amount can help when we put all together. It's a huge support for her. And as she prepares for competition, Blessy will continue to lean on her family, particularly mom's wisdom. She told me to sleep early. I will sleep early. Whatever the healthy food she wants me to eat, I will eat it because she knows what's best for me. Josh Ryan, New Cap News.